So I'm back here at the uh, Blue Run of Dunellen Park. Uh, we've biked this. Uh, we've hiked it. <laughs> and you might say, well, why are you making another video about the Blue Run of Dunellen Park? Oh, I almost tripped. Uh, by the way, there's the Port of Johns over here. I always point out the bathrooms and a uh, nice view of the lake if you want to do some fishing. But anyway, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to knock out a portion of the Florida Trail. And I wanted to make a test video because the weather has cracked here in Florida. And uh, I'm hoping tomorrow to get up and do the, uh, that huge hike that I've been promoting for quite some time, the, uh, the Year Yearling Trail. And uh, we'll see how that goes. You can see it's quite crowded here. This is a very, very popular place here in Florida. So let's get going. So I thought I'd get this real, real quick on the video. Um, you can see we're parked right here. And yeah, we're going to hike down this trail. And then I'm going to make a left. And that take us over to the trailhead. Uh, where we have not hiked before. So that should be, uh, should be a good day. Should be interesting. Um, and we've already done this pond trail. And I, I haven't done the Sand Hill Loop Trail. But not much to it. Let's get going. So just real quick. <clears throat> this is actually the Florida Trail. Uh, or the Donellan uh, Bike Trail. Okay, and then the Withlacoochee River Bridge is, is 0.6 miles that way, and we just came down that, and so I'm making a left to go out to where I want to hike today uh, and knock out another portion of the Florida Trail. Plus, I want to test out uh, these settings on the GoPro before I do an a, a all-day hike. I mean, I'm hoping tomorrow um, we're going to get there as early as possible and probably hike for five or six hours, and uh, that should be uh, outstanding to get the whole yearling trail and hopefully I won't get lost back in there or get uh, mauled by a bear, you know, you never know. So anyway, this is, uh, I figured I better get out on a sunny day. Uh, let's, let's see how these new settings on the GoPro look. Uh, and then, you know, of course, what I've learned about rendering, you know, at 30,000, let's see if that, uh, that makes a difference. And uh, I'll, uh, the next clip will be when we get to uh, the trailhead uh, where, where, where I have not gone before. This man has not gone before. There you go. Let's get that in. So this will be a good test. Uh, of course, I lost my dead cat, so if we're getting some wind noise, I'll look for it on the way back. Um, but you know, here's here's the thing. I, you know, I'm looking at these poles, and I'm pretty sure, I'm about 99% sure this is part of the Florida Trail. It's just, I'm, I'm always wondering why the trail crews won't put the orange markers on these poles just to let people know that they're on the Florida Trail. Now I did switch the, uh, like I said, good test here. I switched the medium mod. I thought it was on the rear speaker and uh, it was on the front speaker. So hopefully my sound quality is uh, sounding a lot better. Uh, not too much wind today, so shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be a factor. I just hope I find that dead cat on the way back. I, seems like I'm always having to buy stuff. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm an old fart and I just lose everything all the dog on time. But anyway, we're getting there, and uh, we'll be at that parking lot soon. Now, I wanted to just briefly uh, go over, because uh, I always want to, you know, help people in Central Florida. You come straight down 484, and you'll see the Marion County Airport. Uh, you just keep on going, and of course, there's the Pruitt Trailhead, and you just keep on going. And eventually, you get to to 45 mile an hour zone, then you get to a 35 mile an hour zone, and then, uh, you know, next thing you know, you're here at the uh, Denellen, um, uh park you know the Denali bike trail anyway so uh now if if i didn't have a toyota prius prime and i had a, a vehicle with with a little bit of clearance you know where we're heading for is another parking lot i rarely see any cars so this would be this is a dirt road before you get to the uh the Denali main parking area but you know i got a toyota prius prime 80 miles to the gallon, by the way. Uh, gas prices are at 340 a gallon here. Glad to have it. Um, but, you know, it does have its disadvantages because it doesn't have that ground clearance. And we've been down, there's a dirt road up here, and uh, it's some deep sand on that road. And I doubt very seriously I could get that Prius Prime through it without getting stuck or, uh, or scraping the bottom of the car. So that's why I park in the, in the main area and have to hike out here. But you don't have to do that. You know, if you want to come down here and just park in this parking area, which we're coming up on, uh, and I'll get a clip as soon as we get there, you could do that, okay? So basically, you know, you, 
off of 441 or 200 or wherever you're coming from, you just get on 484 and just drive straight out here. And uh, and this is, uh, it's a beautiful, look at this, it's beautiful here. Uh, there's a few, then there, you, you saw the parking lot was full. That's a very, very popular area, but at the same time, you're still kind of out here by yourself. And this, at this time of the year, especially everybody's been cooped up here in Florida with bad weather. And uh, so now, you know, we're all getting out. And uh, that's why I said tomorrow, I'm hoping, got my fingers crossed, you know, I got to get a sticker for the side of my cart, 9.15 in the morning. And then once that's done, I'm hoping that I can just get on the road and, you know, we're going to, I'm, I'm going to show you the, um, the route that I'm taking. It's a whole different way than I, the way I went to the Yearling Trail before. Okay. And so you're going to be, um, here comes somebody. There you go, on the skateboard. So you're going to be, um, you're going to like it. It's a, it's, it's a much better drive. A lot of no stoplights. Uh, beautiful drive, as a matter of fact. Uh, just coming out of the the northern part of the villages, uh, hitting 25, and then I can't I can't remember. I think it's 465C. But anyway, I'll be stopping. There's a town that you get into. It's a small town, and uh, I'll be making some clips on that tomorrow. Hopefully, let's see what happens. So real quick, uh, we've been here before. Um, see that? It says Florida Trail on that sign, and there's not a single orange mark that I saw on the uh, paved trail, but um, it's got to be the Florida Trail. Now, there's a, you always point out the bathrooms, and this is that parking lot I was talking about. It seems like nobody knows that it's here, and if I could get to it, I'd park here. But that's where we're heading. We're heading across, right over there to hit the Florida Trail. You can actually see the orange marks on the post, but I'm going to avail myself of this Porter John, and uh, and then we'll get going on the uh, on the hike. So this is the dirt road that I was talking about, and you can see it kind of bows up in the middle here. But down there, is, there's some deep sand uh, where you make the turn. There's some baseball fields right over here if you want to come in. I actually first time ever I've saw a car came in. And uh, let's get on the trail. And uh, by the way, this would be a really good test because I got a really, really late start because I had to go to the tax person today. And uh, so we're going to get some some very, I mean, it's going to get dark pretty quick on me because uh, like I said, really late start hiking this. Now I think this is probably just going to go up to uh, 484 and then you got to hike down 484. And that'll be uh, that'll be the end of this hike. Um, well, I'll go I'll go a ways down 484 because you know my goal is to get all of the Florida Trail in. Um, by the way, I, <laughs> not trying to gross you out or anything, but uh, that Porta Jam was uh, pretty rough, man. I tell you, people are people are some common sons of guns. You know, somebody had uh, urinated all over the, the toilet seats. Uh, had to clean that first, and then there was no hand sanitizer in there, so couldn't take care of that. And then. Uh, uh, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, somebody left some food on the floor So there was ants all over it because uh, they just left the food. So why in the hell would you put food in a portage? <laughs> I mean, what is wrong with people man? I, I you know, is it just me or does it just seem like everywhere you go? You're like you're scratching your head going what in the world were they thinking? You know, uh, by the way, uh, just a shout out. I'll probably put it on all my videos until it's over God bless the Canadian truckers, baby. God bless the Canadian truckers. So you kind of see we're just kind of hiking along the, the road on the Florida Trail here. It has been maintained. Um, boy, I tell you, it looks like hoof prints. I can't believe there'd be any horses back in here, but maybe there is. I don't know. I mean, we are in horse country, no doubt about it, but I mean, where would they, where would they come from? Um, I, I could be, well, it looks like some of them might be deer tracks along this trail. Uh, but it is, I mean, it is beautiful looking off to the right here. A uh, little bit, a little bit uh, horsey and sandy. Um, but, you know, I've been wanting to get this in just to see, you know, probably, like I said, this is probably just going to go straight up to 484. And uh, and then I'll just hike down 484 a ways and make a, make one last clip. You know, it's a, certainly not, you know, like hiking from Pruitt to... Um, uh, Ross Prairie or anything, you know, that, that's a beautiful, beautiful hike there uh, if you really want to do the Florida Trail. Uh, of course, Ross Prairie's Loop, uh, that is just one awesome trail. And then, you know, we, we're going to get back onto the, um, God, I can't remember, Johnson, was it Johnson Pond? I think it's the Johnson Pond, but there's a, there's a blue trail that goes off to the right, and uh, I've hiked some of it, and I'm hoping we're going to get that in uh, at some point, but uh, like I said, the yearling is going to be the big hike. Assuming this video turns out okay, I'm going to I'm going to throw it up on YouTube. 
at in 4K, this is going to be it's recording in 4K, 30 frames per second, okay? And we're going to use the 30,000 uh, uh, on the delivery tab of um, of uh, DaVinci uh, software, DaVinci Resolve, and uh, to render it. And we'll see what the quality of the video looks like. So when this is encouraging, because we just the sun's behind me, so I'm hitting a uh, hidden. Uh, well, uh, let's see. That's east. I'm heading east on the trail, and uh, like I said, it's not heading back up towards 484. So maybe, maybe we're going to get a, a real hike in. Like I said, I can only hike about an hour, because uh, you know then I got to hike an hour back. Well, and, and of course I had to hike a mile just to get to where we started the trail. Um, so you know it's uh, getting such a late start. You know. I apologize, you know, I, sometimes in life, you know, you got to get your taxes done and still getting through the divorce. She's some, hopefully she's going to get me the paperwork on that by the end of the week. And, uh, and then I can uh, get on up to Virginia and uh, we'll get, well, I don't know, but we actually we'll go out to Liberty Mountain and hike some of those trails and show you those. But those are kind of, uh, you know, all the same, same old, same old. You know, it's not like here in Florida. I, I tell you, that's why I love hiking here in Florida because you get so many different looks. You know, one minute you're in pine trees, and the next you're in palm trees, <laughs> then you're in oak trees, you know, and uh, so you get, look at this field over here, huh? Now somebody's got, uh, well, I don't see any cattle. I guess that's a horse. Well, it looks like a horse place down here. So maybe that's why these, there were horse tracks back there. Um, okay. Well, I, I think you, you're, you're seeing what I'm seeing. Uh, I can't wait to see how this turns out with the new settings. Remember, I'm using uh, the linear, linear plus horizontal leveling and not the wide setting. So we shouldn't be getting that fisheye look on the video. Um, so this will be a huge test to make sure that we make the very best video we can. Now, what I'm going to do right now, I'm at 5,500 on the... Uh, uh, Gosh, I can't remember what that setting is. Well, how many times do you hear me say it? The hike you get is not the hike you expect. I mean, we're back here. Uh, you know, this is uh, this is a kind of an interesting hike. I mean, you know, you could run into a bear back here. I, I didn't bring any bear spray or anything because I was I honestly thought the trail was just going to go straight up to 484. But uh, no, we're actually out in the forest. So this is quite beautiful. Um, Boy, I tell you, my hat's off to the trail crews. I mean, I, you could see that they had a lot of work to do to cut this thing in. I mean, there were actually some tree stumps back there that they, they must have actually cut down some trees. So, uh, and boy, talk about well marked. I mean, <laughs> you know, the bike trail doesn't have a single orange marker on it, but I see these posts uh, all along the trail to let you know that you, you're on the trail. So um, we'll just keep on going for about another uh, 45 minutes, and then I got to turn around uh, I don't mind hiking back in the dark on this. Uh, it's not going to be that bad. And I brought some clothes to stay warm. So uh, I saw something go across up there. I think there was a deer up there. Uh, but hopefully we got it on the video. I don't think so. But but you can see, look at this. Look at this. They had to do a lot of work. And there's a, you see, there's one of the stumps. That's what I'm talking about. It looks like they actually cut down trees to do this. Here's another stump right up here. So uh, I would imagine this portion of the Florida Trail was impassable. Uh, well, I know it was because I tried to tried to do it. Silly that that looks like a fresh cut. That's a fresh cut stump. So man, oh man, I tell you this is fantastic. Um, so if you wanted, this would be a fun fun hike uh, so far. And uh, if you wanted to come back here and do it, it's uh, it's not as good as um, Ross Prairie or Pruitt, but I'm enjoying it. Let's keep on going. So I'm making a left here. So this might be just taking me up to uh, 484. You can see the orange markers on the tree. Um, so I don't know how long, you know, we're going to be on a real trail before we're just hiking along the road there. But uh, at least, it, you know, it's it's worth hiking. You know, if, if you come here and uh, you know, you want to bike the Donellan Trail and, and spend a whole day or maybe even do some kayaking and uh, and then you want to just get a hike in, come out here and do this portion of the Florida Trail. It's it's a it's a nice hike. I'm enjoying it. Um, a little horsey, you know, a little sandy. Um, lots of sticks and everything. You know, you probably want some hiking shoes, uh, you know, but you don't have to have them. All I got on is tennis shoes right now. And uh, I don't think you're going to run into any bear or 
uh, well, certainly no gators and, uh, well, then not even any spiders, really. I mean, so it's, uh, you know, maybe in the summertime you could, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, this is, uh, this has been fun. This has been fun. I'm glad that I came out here and, uh, it was a long drive. I, you know, if I wasn't getting 80 miles to the gallon, no way I would have come out here to spend just a few hours hiking this, but, uh, it's looking pretty good so far. So the trail is transitioning here. Uh, I don't know what the, the ribbon on the trees about, but uh, you can see we're kind of getting into some leafy trees and coming out of the pine forest. Uh, so, um, so you are getting a little different look. Uh, I'm enjoying it, but uh, you can see the pines are still here on the left. And uh, I don't know if those are birds or not, but they're not, they're not sticking to me, which is good. I mean, you know, if it, when you hike the Florida trail through Silver Springs, you, you look like a burr because <laughs> they, they stick all over you. You know, you're, you're picking them off for an hour after you hike that portion of the trail, unless, unless somebody like me went through and cut them all down, which I did one time. And uh, I might go do some trail maintenance there at some point just to, just to give back. Uh, I, like I said, I want to get with the trail maintenance crews, but unfortunately, I, Oh, I see the road up here. Okay, it's, it looks like we're just hiking up to the road. Let's see what happens. Well, I was correct. Uh, there's a sign over here. This area will be closed to hunting effective October, what does that say? October uh, 28th. Okay, I can't read the year signs all, but you can see that the, the trail, it's actually, this is kind of nice because where I hiked before on 484, we were up there next to the road <laughs> and I actually thought I was going to get run over a couple of times, but at least here we're behind the fence. Um, so we'll go a ways on down here. I mean, like I said, the goal is to hike all 1400 miles of the Florida Trail. No, this isn't the prettiest hike. You're just hiking along the road, but uh, at least you're not right over here along the road. You're on, the, you're on this trail right here, so I don't mind. So we'll go about another half an hour and then I got to turn around. And, get back to the car because it is going to get dark on me before I get back but uh, if I see something interesting I'll get it on the video but uh, I think this is just going to more or less just just hike along the, the side of the road here and uh, that's about it for the video I'll, I'll do the mantra on the way back because what we want to do is we're going to see what the lighting does because as it gets dark I'm going to up that uh, that setting from 5500 to 6500 and see see how the GoPro does uh, with the lighting on the way back. And then that's the last one I'll do, that hated mantra. <laughs> All right, let's keep going.